Hi, this is Tasnim Nazir and I'm here to talk to you and raise awareness about the plight of the Rohingya in Burma. Now there's 1.1 million uh, Rohingya community, uh, the Muslim minority in Burma, who are suffering persecution at the hands of a, a, a government that refuses to even acknowledge their existence uh, and citizenship. And um, the Myanmar army have uh, implemented a strategy that is unprecedented in uh, carrying out human rights violations against the Muslim minority in Burma. Now there's many organisations and charitable humanitarian um, institutions that are trying their best to get into Burma and help those uh, in need and there really are um, a pressing need to help uh, all those victims in Burma who are being persecuted. Uh, when a tragedy happens in the West we see that very quickly um, there are people to condemn it and people to step up, especially international leaders. Where are the international leaders now? We need to speak out on this and um, as a journalist and I know CJ Wilman as well will be speaking out on this issue. There's, there's elderly, there's pregnant women, there's mothers who have been killed and are in immense fear from the Myanmar government and we really need to uh, step up uh, as the international community and uh, do our best. So this video in collaboration with CJ is really about uh, raising awareness and speaking out and doing as much as we can to help those in Burma with the hope that um, some positive change will arise and international leaders will eventually speak up. Hello, I'm CJ Werleman, a journalist and columnist for Middle East Eye, and I have the following important message to share with you. In every sense of the definition, the government of Myanmar is carrying out genocide against its 1.3 million Rohingya Muslim population, one that is being largely ignored by the international community, despite acknowledgement by the United Nations that mass killings, disappearances, torture, gang rapes, brutal beatings, property dispossession, and forced deportations are occurring in both increasing frequency and ferocity. The UN's 2017 report into Myanmar's savage crackdown on the country's northern Rakhine state described the violence as likely, quote, crimes against humanity, and that the gravity and scale of these allegations begs a robust reaction of the international community. But the international community, particularly Western leaders and media, continue to ignore Myanmar's systematic extermination of Rohingya Muslims. Too many times the world has promised never again in the wake of genocide. To remain silent is to remain complicit in the atrocities taking place in that country. But you can do something about it. Make noise, help build awareness, share this video, join the online protests, call or write your elected representative, tell him or her that Myanmar's terrorism against the Rohingya cannot continue in your name. Myanmar will cease its campaign of ethnic cleansing only at such time the economic and political cost applied by the international community on Myanmar becomes too great a burden for Burma's elites to carry. With enough public pressure, policymakers can enforce sanctions, trade embargoes and bring forth a case against Myanmar's leaders to the International Criminal Court in The Hague. These actions will force Myanmar to change course, but these actions start with your voice. Make noise, be heard, 1.3 million Rohingya Muslims now depend on you.